Today on Riff Beards and Gear, we talk about my favorite high gain mini amps. I am often asked what my favorite mini lunchbox micro amp is, especially for metal. So I thought I would put together a little list of my personal favorite amplifiers in the high gain realm that fall into the category of micro or small or lunchbox, meaning that there are bigger versions of the amps that are on this list today. And before I go any further, I just wanna reiterate that this is my personal list. So if you tell me I am wrong about something, you probably should find something better to do. But without further ado, let's get to the list, shall we? Amp number one, the Orange Micro Dark. Now the Micro Dark is $189. It is 20 watts, it is screaming loud, and most notably, Caleb Shomo from Beartooth has called this amp the heart of the Beartooth guitar sound, and rightfully so. Paired with a 412, you can hang with the band all day long, and this amp is everything that is good about orange boiled down into a very small and inexpensive package. Amp number two, the 5153, 50 watt EL34 version from EVH. Now I own this amp, it is right over there. And this is one of my favorite amplifiers of all time, big or small. It is aggressive, it is tight, thanks to the EL34 power tubes. And I cannot say enough good things about this, the classic metal tones, but you can also get very, very modern metal tones with this amp. And on the used market, you can usually get them for about $700, which is where uh, I found mine. I did not buy it new, but brand new, it is $989. But I will emphasize that it is a lot of amp for that $989. Amp number three, the PRS, Mark Tremonti Signature MT15 amplifier. Now, it's interesting that this is a lower wattage amplifier, lower wattage because it is absolutely it's very, very loud, but it's using uh, 6L6 power tubes, but is only rated at 15 watts, which, which is kind of a unique trait with this amp in particular. Now, this is a very aggressive amplifier, and it really embodies the best of Mark's tone, which is gnarly, aggressive, very fast feeling, and perfect for those high gain metal tones if you are looking to get huge metal tones in a very small package. Next, we have the PV6505MH. Now this amp, when I did the demo of it uh, back a year or two ago, this really perfectly embodies the essence of the 5150 and 6505 tone in a very, very small package. And they make an even smaller package now with the Piranha. But for this video, I chose the OG Mini 5150 6505 amp, and that is the 6505MH, very aggressive, very loud and you can find them for about 600 bucks new and even less on the used market. Next up is the Boss Katana 100 watt head. Now, there are so many features on this amp that I am looking at right now. It has a really cool acoustic simulator, a built-in app, app that you can use with your mobile device to tune and dial in tones. You have you can create custom effects, it has a direct output for silent recording, etc., etc., all $350. Now the Boss Katana line of amplifiers, all of them get a lot of respect and justifiably so because these amps are really the cream of the crop as far as the compact digital amplifiers that are on the market. And if you find one of these, you are definitely doing yourself a favor by getting one. Amplifier number six, the Orange OR15. Now when I first plugged into an Orange OR15, I instantly fell in love, that's right. Dad fell in love with this amp. It is the best elements of what I think of as the British guitar tone boiled down in a nice small package that is 15 watts, which is plenty when you consider that it's tube watts. Hey, there's no solid state action going on. And when you pair it with a decent tube 12 cabinet, you can hang with the band all day long. This is kind of a baby rocker verb and it did clean, crunch, and high gain tones all in one. I love mine. And if you think about, uh, if you're thinking about picking one up, definitely uh, do so if you want those nice British tones. And finally, amp number seven, 
the Freeman JJ Jr. This is the 20 watt version of the Jerry Cantrell signature amplifier. And it is one of my favorite amplifiers of all time, big or small. It's crunchy. It's just a, it's a mini, it's a mini but big sounding rock and roll amp. That's the best way I can put it. It's very crunchy, it captures Jerry's tone in a bottle, but really you don't even have to be a, a fan of Allison Chains or Jerry Cantrell to appreciate the rich harmonic goodness of the JJ Jr. And it is also the most expensive amp on this list, clocking in at about $14.99. So keep that in mind. But uh, definitely, definitely check one out if you can plug one in because, uh, oh man, it is good. Now that does it for my list of mini high gain amplifiers. If you have a favorite high gain mini amplifier that you would like to suggest, leave a comment down below. Let's talk about mini amp heads, man. I just, I love the genre of amplifier because for a long time, you can only get the really good high gain tones with the big ass amps. And it's just, it's what a, what a time to be alive and what a time to be playing guitar than right now. It's just a great time for all of us. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.